All right, do we want to have a recap of session 65? Um, I think I'm pretty much summed up with we advanced further, we killed some stuff, most of the, most of our mercenaries died, one of them bled out. Um, then we got we finally got into the into the at the main fortress with some stuff around, and we ran down some more gobos, and then uh, Zheng nearly died. I mean, but a good, uh, uh, we managed to climb a wall. Lens yes, his life goals is accomplished. <laughs> right there. Indeed. Yeah, we scared, went along the north uh, the north wall and engaged uh, engaged the enemies, drove them back, and yeah, Jing didn't uh, did not stay behind the tanks and pay the price. Got pink cushioned nearly with his <laughs> life. Cool. We have survived, and we'll get wiser. Mm hmm. Or die trying. Now he knows how he's hurt. <laughs> yep. Cool. Bolts. That's that's probably a pretty fair assessment. Let me chuck you on the ruins of Andrushal. Are you done, Oz? With so I know. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's right. They should still flick you across, so the token should be the same token on both. So, although I think you will still be, you are. You are still on the Sumpton map, aren't you? Oh, the valley map. Yes, it's all good, it's all good. Cool. Do you want me to flick you across? You can just update there. Yep. All right. Okay, so you should now be... Yep, I'm there. Cool. And it's at this point... Oh, I do have it still. Unbelievable. So we did leave it with Zheng copying the barrage of crossbow, crossbow quarrels to the chest, and he's picked up an injury. He is not dead, however. Yay. All right, so we may as well just pick it up exactly where we left off, which will mean if Lenza is ready to roll with her one HP. <laughs> I'm fine. Nothing will go wrong. And just a reminder that the stairs are up here. I'm, I'll just continue moving with the group that I was before. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay, what we'll do is we'll actually just say that Keridman has been lost in battle. She has vanished. Loaded off. She's got levitate active. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys just oh. lost track. Maybe she's ch chasing her quarry. Can we give her the proper send off she deserves? Ice cream no. spoons at the ready. No, no. Ice the head cart disappears. Uh, oh. We need that for Zhang. Yeah. I mean, that's partly why, you know, appropriate. <laughs> All right, let me just cross code and off this initiative tracker, and it will be sure next. Okay. Uh, I was casting a spell. I'm going to cast Cure Light Wounds. So, at the end of the round, that'll go. Whee! Cool. Uh, Jaquan. Uh, uh, preparing to attack anything that comes around the corner. It will then be Hypatia. Okay, seeing, seeing that uh, Shang is not dead, I will also I'll advance the corner with Jaquan. It will then be Sean. Um, Where is Sean? Sean is on the He's battle in the tower. Oh, yeah. That's right, he is up near Vash. Um, sorry, I was just gonna 
looking up the range on Bless. It's pretty substantial, I believe. It, 60 feet. Not substantial enough. Alrighty. Well, I will move up um, 10 feet ish and shoot at uh, you know it's bad when you've got to zoom out to see how far away the target is, mm -hmm. don't you? Uh, shoot it. That guy on the far left. Far left. You see which one I was pointing at? Grail? The scout. Oh, the, sorry. That, that scout there. I was looking at oh, left from your perspective, sorry. Yeah, that one. That one there. Cool. So, All right. I'm going to try shooting him. All right. Uh, that's going to be at long. Uh, that's going to be at long, long range. range. Yep. Yeah, no penalties to hit. Nope. It's a pretty straight run. It's a very straight run. And not too bad a roll. Mm. That is, in fact, going to stick him and put him down. Oh. They're like, oh yes. no. <laughs> nice. We're not as much carver as we thought we were. <laughs> Where did that ever wow. come from? <laughs> mm -hmm. Vash, you have put paid to your momentary boyfriend. A very short term boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to move in closer, so I'll just double move. Okay. As far as I can go. And then it will be Zhang who is. Ooh. Yep. Uh, Zhang is going to limp up against the wall and just take a breather. Okay, okay. All right. So these guys realize hey, this crap behind us. This guy is going to shoot his crossbow back. Ooh, there's two targets, but one has a bow. So he's going to move to there. He's going to take a shot. What is the range of a crossbow, by the way? Crossbow, crossbow. Weapon range. 150 feet. 140. All good. He's going to shoot at Sean. Nice. I'm doing a little jig on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and he couldn't for a second time. He couldn't handle my awesome dancing. He could not. Mm -hmm. He was in the process of kind of half laughing at you, and he shot the crossbow into the corner of the temple, and it deflected back and hit him. This guy's going to come over here. He's going to shoot it. Bash. This is going to be medium range. Oops. It's going to have. If it hits, it's going to have two less damage. Because I hit it as a point blank. And this one's going to shoot a Vash as well. By the way, Vash, when you were double moving, you do not get to add your dexterity bonus or shield bonus to your armor class. That's it doesn't dangerous. It is. It doesn't matter. They miss. These guys here are like, um. Wait, I had a shield bonus. I don't have a shield though. No, I'm just saying. If you did. Yeah, if you did. Because you you're just oh. basically moving flat out. Um, this guy is going to come around the corner. Feel free to stab him. Is your qualm? I will. And she insist on all that. As Only in... polite. Well, yeah. <laughs> Very polite. <laughs> He's dead. The other guys who were in the process of coming around the corner stop where they are. <laughs> this guy As is, their mate's head rolls past them. This guy here is going to fling a throwing axe at you, though. He'll miss. Is that like a gorilla throwing axe? No. It's just a throwing axe, which is well wide. Your spell goes off. Shiro... Oh, excellent. 
Your mm-hmm. target has moved out of the way, though. But I'll let, I'll let it go off. What? How did Shang move? Isn't he stabilized on, on? He should be on. Uh, I believe I've just got a, a minor wound. No, no, hang on. He's stabilized. <laughs> but isn't he still on zero HP? Or is no. he on one? Yeah, actually, he's on. He's he should be on zero, which is correct. You shouldn't have been able to move, Shang. Oh, okay. <laughs> Also, don't move away from the healer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah I'm it. casting a healing spell on you. No! Run away! <laughs> it's like playing Vermintide. Someone gets the health kit to go and chase the zealot. <laughs> yeah. the zealot. Uh, you get four hit points back. Four HP returned. Four Zhang. Now you can move, move away. It's Thank fine. You. One HP ready to go. All right. Sure, you are up four. first this round. Uh, all right, Shiro is going to move forward. Five. Uh, uh, yep, that's it. Just going to move forward five squares. Okay. Then it will be Jaquan. Uh, step around the corner. See, there's a goblin in range, but this is me, so I'm going to step to there Mm -hmm. and attack that one first. You do. He's dead. And his mate also in reach. Your old minimum damage, which was still significantly more than you needed. Yep. The, the armor class of negative eight was like, what do you see? So it was 15 more than you needed. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like he actually physically throws himself upon you around. So, Hypatia. Hypatia wants to get in the archer. Yeah, he'll stay there. All right, and that's turn. I'm just putting these tokens icons on those guys, so I know they need to reload. It will then be Sean. <laughs> mm. uh, so they're all reloading, are they? Well, they aren't reloading at the moment. Their crossbows will need to be reloaded. Hmm. Seems like a waste of one of my four arrows to bother shooting at them. Where's Barsh? I am on the t- left. Oh, you're always down there. How do you move so fast, damn it? She, she just runs. Basically runs and in not, a straight and, line. I am and not encumbered. Stupid armor. She's got great yeah, big, strong boy. She's got great big <laughs> ropey thigh muscles. Mm. Really good for twitch motion. Mm-hmm. No, I double move. Stream on now. Uh, Grail, we roll for health, don't we? When we level up. Yes, you can roll it now. Yep. And roll it. D4. 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 Be a thief. Okay. 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 Nice. You do get the option to re roll if you want. I, I think I'll be okay. Re roll. Re roll. Actually, can I play that uh, that card that I had to change any dice roll I want? <laughs> no, because technically this happened weeks ago. Yep. Ah. And technically, and technically it's also... it ran down like hours ago. But and technically, and technically, it's also not in game. It's not a game die roll. But yes, it would be hilariously trolls worthy. <laughs> uh, Zheng, you are up. Oh, sorry, Bash is oh, up. Sorry, no, Bash. Bash oh, hasn't acted yet. Uh, well, I will just continue moving. Just another double move. Just another double move. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's Tom cruising it on the walls up there. Mm-hmm. Never skip leg day! <laughs> I'm make sure that no more crossbow bolts come flying at you from and the then, top. And now it will be Zheng. Zheng of the suddenly ambulatory, but Oh, my stomach hurts. Ooh, yeah, it legs. was a lower abdomen, wasn't it? A minor abdominal um, injury. Yes. Hmm. Can't sleep now. 
Uh, I'm going to stand over here still and just hide. Cool. And then it will be Lenza. Okay, cool. Well, I suddenly have more health than one, which is good. So maybe, maybe I won't immediately die from hindering myself with a crit fail. But these guys are nowhere, are nowhere near me. So I'm just going to stick to the wall here for now. And yeah. Just By the way, you should climb. You'll be forgetting Harry the Hardy Albert. I have. I have, sorry. I've been distracted. That's right. Do you wish to move him um, after Lenza has finished her turn? Yep. Is that all you're doing, Oz? Yep. I think I, I, can't, I can't see anybody, and so I'll just move my movement. All right. Feel free to fling Harry across the battlefield. Uh, wait, boss. All righty. There you go. These guys here are going to... Someone's buzzing at me. Bzzz. Oh. I think that's... Uh, speak. Microphone's picking up my... Microphone's picking up my phone. As you do. Now, these guys are going to run over here. Away from the crazy guy with the big pointy stick. I mean, I'm just funnily, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You should think I double move. I can't see Come anything. closer. <laughs> yes. Closer. You are far less of a threat. I one-shotted one from, like, the other side of the block. Yes. And Jaquan just one-shotted two. Right in their that face. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got covered with bits of their colleagues. Jaquan, you are up first, as a matter of fact. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to catch them, but... You can throw your rancer like a lady hawk with the Zvi hand. I'm, uh, I'm moving after them. To oh. continue flushing them towards Vash. My patient will be up next. Chuck it right. down. Hmm? Five, no. ten, fifteen, and twenty. And Harry's going to go after Lenser again. After Hypatia, it will be Sean. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to shoot that one there. Okay, the one to lead. Go for it. They're nice and close this time. <laughs> you are, uh, yeah, you're right on the edge of the um, the drop off. That's a ten foot drop, just right to you, immediately to your right. You're kind of hanging over the edge. You stumble a little bit and twist your ankle, making sure you don't fall flat on your face from the height. Take a point of damage. Mm -hmm. And right. one more arrow bites the dust. Vash. You think you heard um, Sean squeal from behind you. Like a pig! Well, I'm going to Ow. temporarily move here just so I can see <laughs> inside. Yep. So I couldn't see anything over there. Uh, oh, they're going off now. Um, <clears throat> do you guys think you will be able to handle those three scouts? And I shall just continue along. These I'm ones. On a mission. Yeah. You can't really communicate with the guys down there unless you want to stop and shout. So you can choose uh, whether you believe they can or can't. I think yeah. I'll just believe I'm on a mission <laughs> on these ramparts. So I need to plan my movement now. You're on a mission from square. dog. <laughs> you just have to believe. <laughs> Pretty far away, they'd have to back it up for us to handle it. Whoop. God damn. Oh, I guess I'll just move there. What I might do, given this moment, doesn't Oh, really... I can't see you again. No, just, just wait a second. Just wait. It doesn't really have much bearing at this point in time. So, if I just do this. <gasps> there. I'll remove the. Dynamic light. The veil has been pulled from my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really 
doesn't really make a difference. I'm right. just gonna wave, hey guys, and continue running along. <laughs> Aww. Jing. Uh, probably just keep moving up forward a little bit. Keep up with the squad. And oh, then yeah. it'll be Lenza. She of the sudden burst of HP. HP. Alrighty, I can actually see some people. Kind of. Yeah, I'll have a go at. Um, I guess I've got this guy because he's not through, not shooting through the, not Harry. shooting through the tent. And Harry, yeah, that one too. Cool, but it is, it is. I don't get any bonuses to us not in, in short range. But that is all right. Uh, oh, he misses. It does. And I love it, that you're flirting with death. Amazing. He's not anymore because his hit points have, oh. got, have gone up. Yes, no, I, 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 su I suddenly have. I suddenly have. Look, I, I got, I got almost like a fucking fifth of my health back from that. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not, no, it, it actually is a big deal. And then wow, be, do you want to move? Um, actually, sure, it can go. Then you can move, Harry. Oh, no, Harry's just going to stand there. Cool. He's he's protecting. Cool. Sure. Hey. Actually, I might run over there. Cool. The head in need of looting. Indeed. All right. These guys here, they're going to keep running. They're going to. Double move to there. They're easy targets. They're making bolts for it. All right. I'm just going to do a new. Jaquan, Hypatia, Sean, Bash, Zhang, Lenzard. All right. So first up is going to be Hypatia this turn. Uh, move me close. I want to hit them with my sword. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna run. So that's so you um double pace. Okay, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. And then it will be short. And he's gonna move because he doesn't have a strip. I will attempt to shoot them. Um, let's just go the closest one. Mm -hmm. Yay! That hits and kills him. Vash. She of the thick um, thighs. Yeah. I thought more goblins would uh, fall over. But uh, I guess I'll pivot Javelin before they're completely out of range. But it'll be a minus one. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just aim for this guy. Closest one to me. Cool. Go for it. That well, is... I guess not. Nope. <laughs> that is not good. Take a point of damage. Not good as, at all. as the javelin gets stuck in the addle addle. And as you fling it, you bring it down right in front of you and it bounces back up into your nose. Ow. Yep. <laughs> Ow. Why did I even try? Does that mean that she doesn't have to go looking for it? She can just pick it back up and Sure. Can we get her an artifact version? Shaped in a Mesoamerican feathered snake. Or maybe made from porcelain, so, you know. No, so it's a coatlatl. Yeah. You're now thinking about it. Awesome. No, I'm not. 
<laughs> I really am. I'm you really say not. that. <laughs> I do say that, but it also happens to be true. Jean. We do need to hang back a little bit. She of extra hit points, Lenza. Still running away. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm, I'll move and then shoot to get a little better, better angle mm -hmm. on this guy, which will give me. Uh, plus one because it's in in close range. Close range. That's it's probably 100, hits. It's one hundred and fifteen feet. That's medium range. Oh, sorry. Right. Yes, medium range, and then they kill. I, I still hit minus five, so I think I still hit. Yes, you do hit, and he dies. Nice. All right. It will then be Shiru. Uh. All right. Sorry, 70s. I'm 70s close range for a long time. Looks like they've been dealt with. Uh, Shira's just going to search this body. Ooh. Okay. That body has a couple throwing axes, some moldy looking I, leather. I'm just going to loot stuff. Yeah. We'll do the whole thing. Yeah. Nothing seems to be fancy on him. Then you can start having a touchy feel. Yep. Is your mm -hmm. The important pressure <laughs> answer there. An important question, though, Julian, is does it have a head? Mm -hmm. Or long? <laughs> sure, he's like, yeah, he's got out the old butcher steel. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this guy had a hand axe. Lucky. This guy's going to run in here. Runs into the stables. All right. Sean. Sorry, was that Sean or Gorn? Sean. Right. Seen. Sean. 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 Yeah. Well, I can kind of see nothing's on the wall. I guess I'll mosey on over to those steps. And by mosey, I mean, you know, run 40 feet this way. Right. Okay, I'm going to drop you guys out of initiative order at this point in time. Yep. And I'm going to take a one minute break. I need to go get a drink. That ice cream and chocolate and ice and caramel fudge was really salty. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Someone make me an image of the coattle apple. Hmm. Just watching that dude put the bit of plywood on the roof. That's awesome. Yeah. Of not thinking ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. But what is um fairly relevant with that whole image is one of the crews apparently dropped a solar panel off a roof onto a car today, so yay. Oh. Mm. That's uh nothing's nothing's walking away from that. Oh, everyone walked away, but the car had yeah. a broken window, and guess that panel's not so hot either. No, the panel's pretty rooted by the looks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So after you've rooted the car, I'll oh, it wasn't me. Yeah. No. Guilty by association. Like, yeah. Well, there like, is that. Like being a member of this party. <laughs> when, when, yes. when princes are murdered. Uh, don't, don't remind me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will drop you out of uh, initiative at this point in time. Cool. What are you wanting to do? Oh, oh, that, that, kill that last gobbo. <laughs> so, I want to finish checking the bottom 
No, we'll not leave this task undone. <laughs> you notice... uh, if we're out of combat, can I collect it? Oh, yes, that's that. You notice that um, Vash that Zing still has probably got a few crossbow bolts in his chest and it's <laughs> not looking very happy. Yeah. Man, I need I need happened. arrows, not crossbows. It all happened sight unseen for you. I mean, yeah. did, did, I you, did, you, how... did you take the ones off um off the archers that died? Was there any archers here? They were crossbowmen, weren't they? Yeah, they're all crossbowmen. Yeah. They're, oh, they're, they're outside. Archer, archer. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Uh we should also collect those bodies. I, I, I really do appreciate how I, t I took care of my archers very well, and then as soon as I wasn't here for a session, they both died. I thought for a second... <laughs> Thanks for I, I thought for a second Aaron was going to say, we should also collect those heads. <laughs> I mean, they were... Oh, thinking, God. No, I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> we, so, should, yeah, we, should, we should not. Enough sense of humor, though. <laughs> we should not loot them of all their possessions like Barsh did. At least, have them, at least allow them some dignity to be buried with their... I'm with their sorry, I didn't know there were consequences. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get, you're, you're, so you're not sorry, you're just sorry there's consequences. She's a well, to be yeah. fair, that, that's well, I found much... a better weapon afterwards. She's As a the parent hardcore. of a toddler, can confirm definitely that one. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> she's a half orc. You know, consequences be damned. The, there was shiny, and there was also potential... Potential food. Yeah. Boy, right. I do happen to see a gobbo down here. Yes. Let uh, us I'd... let us collect what we can, and then probably get the bodies back to the camp for now, at least, and then go from there. So yeah. can I get? So I'm going to try and retrieve as many arrows as I can. Do we know how many arrows there are to retrieve? Oh, that'd be, what, half of what we fired, usually? Yep, you can retrieve Ooh, half of what you fired that hit. That hit, yeah. Yeah, I can't how many hit. Not many from memory. Like, two. You can have one. And yet one. <laughs> Arrows don't like to strike solid objects. <laughs> no, they can't design to... As a matter of curiosity as well, um, arrows which were fired in a combat situation against enemies often wouldn't have the heads attached except by beeswax. Mm. And the reason for that was it stopped the enemy retrieving the arrows and shooting yes, them. Like, yeah. Because yeah. The, the arrow head would be stuck in the body or just pop off as you pulled the arrow out or whether it was out of the ground or out of the dead person or the shield. Well, I checked up top, uh, it's all clear, so mm -hmm. I'm on the bottom again. Yep. But, but since we know we're fighting goblins and they don't use bows, we decided to attach our heads properly. Of the cart. Uh, while we're doing this, I'm going to take this opportunity to heal Lenza. Uh, I, yeah, I'll be sure. <laughs> two. Thank you. But consider it two more hit points than Sean would have healed you for. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly four. <laughs> I'll heal you for as many hit points as I can. <laughs> Which is none. Well, of course not. I don't have any healing spells. I don't have any first level spells, to be exact. And the reason for that is Sean used all his used all his first level spells healing the night before. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's good. But yeah, we push. We, we should probably at least rest and then plan out what we're going to do next. Back at the camp, away from the keep, unless we want to stay here. But well, the keep seems to respawn every time we would go away. So. Yeah. Makes, yeah. And we never get past here because every time we go to move, every time we go back to recuperate, they come back. Mm -hmm. Got to find out a way. I've got another dispel magic. I could cast it on the ring of fire again. 
Or is it gone? It's not there anymore. No, the ring of fire literally just winked out. Wow. Oh. Gone. Maybe we're having an effect then. Can we Maybe. inspect where it was? All right, so let me, you can, let me just put... John is going to look. Hang on, let me just put, before you move. I'm not there. Um, oh. I need to be on the map layer. Yep. All right. So, oops. Did that come through? Yes, it did, but it's very faint. Let me... Select. Oh no! I moved the map. <laughs> the earth is shifting. <laughs> There's an earthquake. Uh, uh, let me grab another one. one. Another earthquake. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. There's a I didn't even smudge. didn't even no. know there was an earthquake. The purple smudge is going to be indications of where. Actually, let me, let me make it smaller. Let me just put. Circles. Dunk. 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 This is where the shackles were, just to give you an indication. The shackles remain, but the blue fire is gone. And the hole? The hole doesn't seem to be there either, the crack. Because it wasn't a big hole, it wasn't a fissure, it was just... Uh, basically a, a surface crack, but it seems to have vanished as well. Almost cool. like it was not a real crack in the ground. Yes. <clears throat> well, clearly, Caradron did this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe she got, uh, got a quarry after all. Mm. Um, do we want to try? Oh. No, sorry, I, was, I was just I'm happy it's gone, honestly. For now, well, maybe, Car maybe now Caravan's gone. That the the portal's gone. Is that? Does she? But I am much happy to stay in in the um in here now. If that thing's gone, because I'm fairly confident that was where the majority of them were just being shunted out. Yeah, and also this way, with all the uh wood that we have, which we should go collect, uh, bring it back into the keep. We could just start a fire on the set of stairs, put the goblin bodies on it. Bank that fire with like one of these tents, keep the smoke going in rather than yep. out, and uh, um, you know keep that burning all night long. You're small for such a big idea, but I'll help you. Cool. I'm and I guess right. a few of us, a few of us could move the bodies back to the mercenary camp. Mm -hmm. So how how many how many mercs do we have left? Uh, Great. The close combat there. guys. Yep. Also, it's Heavy Come spearmen. back, guys. One of them died. Day one. Oh, yeah. Heavy spearmen went back to camp. You have the heavy swordsman and you have the halberdier. Harry the halberdier. Halberdier. Yeah, some middle yeah. name, guys. The? Has a hearty. It's Harry the hearty halberdier. Well, he's still done pretty good compared to some of his comrades. So we're gonna regroup and go back to the the um, camp, or are we gonna? I think I think, we, I, I think we split up. We because as as the the point has been, they always come back when there's no one here. So we make sure there's a few <clears> people here doing the um, essentially blocking off the blocking off the stairs, as Shira suggested, and then a few others can can bring the bodies back to the camp and just I guess fill them in and inform them that we're gonna be staying here again. And then come back. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Well, I'm up for staying here. Me too. Yep. But, yep. I've only got three arrows left. I'm going to cast mm -hmm. Cure Wounds on Zhang. We could probably take the arrows from the bowmen. They're not going to need them anymore. I don't think they're, they're particularly memorable to them in death. Probably Ooh, not. Ooh. We'll leave them one arrow each. Thank yep. you. That's seven, by the way. Uh -oh. I just don't need them this one. Yeah, I, I was, obviously no one kept track of how many had they they'd been using, because they're back up to full now. 
I don't think they but fired no. many arrows in the last yes. combat. So, <clears throat> yeah, just assume that maybe you've got about 19 or 18 each. Say 18 each. Yeah, one of them did die without firing, so, you know, it sort of evens out. Mm -hmm. Some fired a lot, some fired none. <laughs> yep. So there's 36 arrows, we'll say. In that case, I will... I'll take 10, because I know that, that refills my um, my quiver. And I already have a spare one, so that means you get you can take the other 26. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Sean? Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah, sorry, you didn't acknowledge. Just wanted to... Oh. I just wanted to make sure you heard it. Mm-hmm. I try not to talk too much, because it gets hectic if everyone talks at the same time. Um, can someone take them, the bodies back to camp? Yes. Probably people who can actually carry stuff. Um, Lenser is not the person to be doing that. Very well. She does not have Lenser. Yep. I'll, 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 stay here. I'll, I'll stay here and help, and it helps out the fire and burning of the bodies. Because okay. goblins are much, much easier to drag around than... I'll take some bodies back then. Yeah, I mean, you've got Harry and the swordsman. And... Yeah. Yeah. Bash, I'm so sure can carry. Yep. Yeah, I can help carry then. Thanks. Unless you need more people. Yeah. yeah, cool. I guess no, the thing should probably bad. go back with them too, just mm -hmm. so, just so just so that he can prove he's still alive. Yep, <laughs> sounds good. Yep. <laughs> and I'll go. Uh, yeah, what's I'll probably hang around thing again? Uh, abdominal it is. Uh, yeah, abdominal. So, unable to rest easily. Ah, right, um, yes, of course. So you can't yeah. heal up and regain stuff. Yep. That It'll is unfortunate. Be the full rest in a comfortable bed to heal. Which cannot be found either in the keep or out of it, probably. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. So. Correct. Um, so, magic will heal him, however. Not... Yes. Uh, ask um, them to bring the cart up and we'll load these heads onto the cart. How long has it been since we've been to La Crema Keep? Or since we're at La Crema Keep? A couple oh, of weeks. Uh, at least. Yeah, because there was some training involved. Yeah. It's probably been more like a month, actually. Okay, cool. Why'd you ask? Well, because that's the last time I used my magic coat. Cloak. Uh, right, yes, of course. Well, I can only use it once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So there's no. I could lend it to the monk. Yeah, that was what I was. I was going to suggest. It's that. way better for you to use it because you get all your spells back, so you can just use them to heal him. Well, that is true. Do you actually? I don't know, do monks get anything else back on rests, or is it just health? Like, do you have any? Again, I'm coming from a five E standpoint, like key yeah. points and stuff. But they get stuff back. Per week and stuff like that when they get quivering palm and stuff. That's like ages later. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know about monks. He gets hit points. Pretty much. So especially at his level. Yeah, so, so it's not actually a not not a, a big deal that you won't be able to that you won't be able to heal because we can just spend some spells to heal our people Correct. instead. It just puts a bit mm. more of an imposition upon your resources. Yes, as it as it is, it's a minor abdominal injury. It's not a massive problem. Massive. It's just going to make him unable to be recuperating at night because yeah. it hurts. Mhm. Mm He's got tummy ache, cool. mummy. Mhm. Mm oh. Well, he can just go and watch all night since he can't sleep anyway. <laughs> not, 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 not quite. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll, that'll really help the massive injury he's got. <laughs> One eye open at all times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Typical of Henry trying to find the loophole. Uh, he, he doesn't sleep. You can stay on watch all night. <laughs> you loophole? You, you say loophole? I say silver lining. <laughs> Everyone was an expensive mercenary. That's Opportunity. okay. Vash's logic would be magic heals you. Does no magical, but dish help. 
<laughs> Depends how you okay. um, use it. Gently rub it on his forehead. Ah, oh, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> the cool metal soothes. <laughs> All right. Oh. So who has returned to camp? I know that Lens, um, I know that Sean and Vash at least were staying. Lens is also staying. Is also staying here and helping out here. I think it was. I mean, Jaquan, do you need me to help you carry things? Yes. Bodies. Bodies. Uh, then I'll go back to camp with them just to help carry stuff. Alright, I'll send back the heavy swordsman, but I'll stay here. Hmm? Where are these sure. stairs that we're guarding? Yeah, I, I guess we'll, um, hang on. if, you, if you stay, hang on. you're staying here and move, move to the stairs, you can get them going. Hang on. Okay. Can you roll a d6 for me, please, Asheng? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you Rolling might see something. Isn't always bad. Okay, that's all right. It's just when you roll bad, it's bad. Yes, if you're if you're staying here, just put your toker near the stairs on in the top right or the top Sh middle. Uh, sure. Stop. 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 Sure. Can you roll a d6 for me, please? That's cool. Is there someone still alive? I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> I checked the top. <laughs> this is the shackles here. Um, that was me probably just accidentally um, clicking when I still had that tool. Yeah, selected. The shackles are just in, in the little square. Let me make sure I don't get the map shaking. Dunk. Now, uh, guys, we did see that there is a carrion worm over here before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm hanging Which around. That's why I haven't been walking over here. But... We can bait it out by throwing stuff in that direction. So, do we want to, like, it? chop also some limbs off these guys and just, like, launch them in that direction and see if we can, you know... If, if, we, just, we, just throw if we deal with the whole party here, sure. The whole body's yeah. way too heavy. Just like a... No, no, here. the whole party, the entire party, you know... We know there's a carrying worm there? Yes, we saw it during the fight. <gasps> the earth shifts yet again. Yes, because I yeah. saw the map layer. Sorry. Yeah. Let's bring all the wood over here. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Where's over? Where are we going? Where's over here? The stairs. The stairs are over here. Right. Yeah, the ones yeah. that are going to also the bring down. the tents over because these. Well, you, these look you pretty say flammable. stairs, but it just looks like a rooftop to me. Um, yeah, it that's is. A, but that's, that's where a, they are. Right. Let me uh, do this That's for the you, stable. Then. The temple's over here. Yes, and the stairs are in the stables. Yeah. Did a goblin run over here? Yeah, me, that's where yeah, the goblin ran. Let me do this to make it easy for you guys to remember. Are you going to write stairs on there, or are you going to draw some stairs? I was dragging one across, but don't know where it ended up. <laughs> oh, there it is there. Uh, it's really hard to see. Not a good picture that I moved. Uh, let me grab this one. Yeah, also not good. But what I can do is I can do this. Uh, I need to find a better picture of stairs. Ah, here we go. Are they going to be easier to see? Yeah, that'll be easier enough. Here we go. And I have been excellent in putting them in the wrong spot. Well, who's moved themselves in there? Stop moving around. Yeah. Let me go back to dynamic lighting. There we go. Yeah, okay, the nice. Big red boxes stairs. They're at the back, though. Uh, whatever. The reason they're not very dark is because I put them on the wrong layer. Ah, oh, nice. Right. Oh, my big, big red box was gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. But are the only stairs down? They are the stairs that, that you found down previously and you have been using. Yes. Yeah. 
<clears throat> um, so can we move all these tents over there as well? Where do you want to move the tents to? Like, near the you stairs. want to make a bonfire here? Because we're going to make a massive fire in the stairs. Okay, so then, this is what happens as you are moving the you, stairs. You know smoke rises, don't you? Yeah, that's why you bank the fire. So you know, smoke out the room. Yeah. This guy was hiding in a tent. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, it is. Hello, who, yeah. Who, who, who's who's the one who, who finds I'm them? I'm guessing there's two of us moving a tent. So shall we roll randomly to see which two are moving the tent? Sure. I guess. Yeah. We were just like next there's, to him. There's, and there's, else there's like six him. of you who would be doing it. I would be assuming that Zhang won't be moving tents. No. So let's roll. Um, let me roll because I want to roll. Shiro, Sean. Let me just go down the list. I've got my Hypatia, initiative list here. So it was Hypatia and... Ah, Hypatia and Sean are moving that tent. Woohoo! He dies. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out as like, oh no. He was cowering. <laughs> he, he, he had his morale broken ages ago. <laughs> he ran and he hid in the tent. And he's been there ever since hearing these horrible monsters invading his home and slaughtering his friends. And he thought, I'm safe, uh -huh. I'm safe, please let them go, please let them go. And then, I my patient's here. <laughs> right. Shiro, yep. there's another head for you to get here. I already did it. I'm all Man, you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's like, I've never seen anyone move so fast than Shiro with a headless corpse. Or a corpse <laughs> with a head. A headless corpse to be. Ah, uh, sweet. That's yeah. That's some good. That's some good burnable material right there. And also, we can use those to bank the fire, which is good. How thick are the tents? Um, like, are they just made out of sort of canvas, or are they actually made out of like hide? No, they're made out of like. Oh, I moved the wrong thing again. Moving the map around to the tent rather than the tent. Oh, thank God. Thank God for Control-Z. Yep. <laughs> oh, you know what's really bad when you're, like, writing something out and you realise you made a mistake and you go Control-Z with your hand and, you, and then you realise it's like a pen and paper? <laughs> Dang. Mm. It's been a while. Okay. So, yes. the paper. so they're, they're kind of like a... I guess you could say a little bit of a hodgepodge. There's some hide material in there, maybe some hessian, some canvas, kind of all being stitched together. Um, they're not particular. They're not what you would particularly like to use, but yeah, they'll suit your purposes. This is right. what goblin dreams are made of, and we're yeah. burning them. Hmm. I assume we won't burn all of them at once. We'll save them some to chuck no, on. We've, we've got heaps of wood. We're going to use oh, yeah, the wood, yeah, you're not yeah. using and then on to, top of the you're not wood using these it, to burn. You're using these to no force bank. the smoke down. Yep. Yes. So cool. what we're going to what what I'll do with them is I'll, I'll probably form like a a bellows because there's leather here, there's wood. You know, they're not like a complicated machine, and then. Bank the fire, put the wood in there, because we've got wood. Set it on fire. Once the fire's going, we can start feeding it goblins, goblin corpses, because once it gets hot enough, they burn pretty... Well, you know, bodies burn pretty good in general. We'll find out if goblins do. And then, yeah, we just tend to the fire, feeding it goblin corpses. And wood, if needed. We brought a lot of wood with us. You bought like two days harvest worth. Well, it's a sizable amount. Yeah. It's not massive because, again, the wood you found wasn't yeah, great big logs, etc. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. But I mean, worst case scenario, is there any wood in this uh, stables? Like it's made out of some wood? Are they like. Are you going into the stables? Things? To have a look? Not yet, but I will. 
Not, not yet, but I will. <laughs> I mean, I'm I just will. looking from the outside. Are there like you've been in there before? Wooden... You know that there is wooden struts yeah, yeah. and beams and noggins. Yeah, yeah, that 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 that's good stuff. That's good burnable stuff right there. And I've just that is, pulled a muscle in my foot somehow. Oh. Ow. Ouchy, ouchy. There we go. I mean, I don't want to use any wooden beams or anything that's actually, like, structural. I just mean, like, stalls, you know. If, only, stall. if only you had an engineering skill among you to know which one is exactly were structural. Like the load-bearing oh, poster. Yeah. No, we, we're just not going to use any that are, like, actually part of the building. Who cares whether they're, like, necessary or not? It's too complicated to look up and see which one's are actually supporting stuff. Uh, yeah. Cool. We've got a plan. I guess yep, we get through it. Um, I'm going to use fine traps, which I probably should have used earlier. But basically, just to check around this area, this area. Move yourself. And in. then after. Oh. Yep. Sure. You, Do you want yourself... me to my aura? Yep. Move yourself wherever you want to go. All right. So I'll come with. Stay behind me. Oh, go big way. You can't teleport like that. Oh, well, I was actually doing it one step at a time. I guess it just sort of moved really quickly. I might be lagging. Where do you want me to go back to? Oh, wow. There's something on the GM layer. Okay. Oh, what's up? How you doing? It, it, bur sounds... it bursts from underneath the loose debris, crap, bits and pieces of rubble and refuse that have been piled up over the decades and decides it wants to have a, a munch at this juicy little red-headed lout. Nom, nom, Hello. Nom. I have an AC of zero. That's not good enough. Ooh. Save versus poison. Right. Good thing you're good. If it right. makes you feel better, that would hit me too. I rolled the two. I uh, Yeah, I, I play card to help you, but that would not help. Okay, I'm going to damage now. Okily dokily. So, sure, we'll let you go first. Uh, Since I am grabbed, I... Make a strength check at half value. Mm -hmm. I roll that here. I'll just roll the d20. I got a three. Oh, That's nice. successful. You managed to work oh. yourself out. That's your turn. Um, yeah. Up alive. Jaquan, you've heard commotion inside. Probably a bit of a squeal there and can I attack? Sure. Mm, Odd. Mm-hmm. Probably hits. Probably hits. Oops, come on. Yep, both of them hit. They squelch into its big flabby pustule like body. Hypatia. Step up. Unload. Uh, no monster hit, but unarmored? It is. Unfortunate. Ooh. Good thing is, hey, you, this, is a favorite, damage. this is a favorite weapon. You take no damage. Yeah. Pity, because that would be nice. Woe, be, woe betide you all when you find a carrying worm with Barty. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's a good start. That's a good strike. That seems to do significantly more damage than Shaquan's Rancer. Sean, you heard commotion. No, Sean will go and see what said commotion is all about. Because he's all about being included. And then it will be Barsh Ooh. after Sean does his thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I hear rumbling from the stables. I do. 
Is that a big monster? Could be. Well, um, we'd know if someone hadn't stacked 30 tents in front of the door. <laughs> yeah, those tents are going to be difficult ground. The, the, um, yeah. the good thing is the stable is all open fronted. Yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna have to run to the side like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good enough for me. And then it'll be Zhang. Okay. Zhang Could have gone through that. Going to fall a little bit. Uh, can he bring out his sling, or is that, um... Getting his sling out is an action. Um, so, yeah, I will not let you do it after you've moved. Uh, how far did you move? Uh, oh, I forgot. One second. You're uh, around here. here. Yeah, I won't let you... Move. Yeah, so yeah, that's I, I, I sling that turn. Lenza. Yes, I will also get out my longbow because I I wouldn't have had it equipped at all. Correct. And then, yeah, wait to wait my turn to see if it's still alive by the time I get to shoot. All right. It's going to choose who to attack. It's not intelligent, so I'll randomly determine between the two t- primary targets. Let's roll. Just attack Al. 1d4. Actually, let's do 1d100. Odds of attack Shura. Why for Hundy and I don't know. Odds of attack Shira. Oh wow. Impossible. And it's Yeah, so surprised. Mm-hmm. Oh. Negative one. Dang it. Uh say That's... first poison. Success. You are good. You are out. Uh, eight. It liked its little chew toy. And it's got, it got away. It was squeaking and everything. <laughs> um, as your client, you're up. Time to attack again. That will be a hit. Oh, critical. Nice. Okay. That is a pretty good strike for your Rancer. But still, the Rancer blow don't seem to be significantly injuring it. They kind of just stab into the big mush. Hypatia. And all you have Hi. is a Rancer. That is, a, that is a good hit. Slashy slashy. Nice. Oh, guess what? The perfect uh, perfect amount. No. no. One short. No. You were 10 hit points more than what you needed. Unfortunately, you hit armor class 4. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it had armor class of 5. <laughs> it collapses to the ground and Shiru covered in kind of slimy goo and just kind of rolls out. Ow. Shiru heals himself. How many healing spells have you got? I had five. Now More I have zero. You. <laughs> You've been throwing them around all afternoon. Yep. I think yeah. all, his, well, all his first level spells were healing spells, I think. They all were. <laughs> yep. I I sort of said, I turn to you and say, well, we found you carried one. Oh, so we use that. Now we can burn it too. Well, I don't know how well they'll burn. It'll make a good bang. Ah, carrying Wormhead. Cool. Pretty sure all my first level spells were healing spells. They just got used. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, cool. Um, Shira's going to try that, uh, like, goblin arm on a rope trick. And just, like, throw one out, you know, ahead of him. Far, far away. As far as he can launch an arm. The swordsman has just been grabbed by a carrion worm bursting out of the ground. No, swordsman! Crap. No! Oh, oh the, the I'm going to hit his here. Awesome. Um, Harry would have joined up with us. The D6 rolls, I had Shiro and um, 
Zheng made with for this carrying worm? Uh, uh, does he need to make a save? Oh, yes. Who's making it? Uh, well, That's so right. I'm controlling him. That's right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make it on his behalf. All right. He, he failed. So he takes total eight Four. damage. That's good. And he is grabbed. That's really bad. He has got one yep. point left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better than none. Uh, yeah, that be a problem. Could be bad. All right. So continuing on, Sean, you're up. Hmm. Oh, uh, I'll try and shoot him. And I expect any man to do the same for me. Oh, you mean the carrying one? Sorry. <laughs> that, uh, is a, yes. that is a hit. I was wondering. That's, that reminds me, has anyone actually read the book Jaws by Peter yes. Benchley? Oh, yes. Uh, that Jaws. Okay. I have. But so when... For... So the so difference is when Hooper goes into the shark cage, the shark actually gets him. He doesn't escape and swim to the bottom after Jaws breaks through the shark cage. What it does then, because the shark is actually a curse of the sea upon Amity Island, it takes Hooper up out of the water, holding him in its jaws, and Hooper's there thrashing around. Brody tries to shoot the shark with the M1 Garant, and he's too nervous and he's shaky. He actually shoots Hooper in the side of the head. Oh. Which is kind of, um, it's poetic justice, I guess, because in the book, Hooper actually had an affair with Brody's wife. So. Uh, yeah. Accident. Accident. Because <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that Hooper and Brody's wife went to college together. We're, we're old. Boyfriend and girlfriend met up. And go, oh yeah, you know we should totally get it together because Brody's got this shark to deal with. Anyway, I just thought that was funny <laughs> because you know. So who's so the heavy swordsman who's been sleeping with who? Renza, <laughs> your wife. <laughs> uh, no, one of Sean's undead minions. Ah uh, yes, Vash or Miss Skelly. You're up. <laughs> um. I rounded the corner of the tents just to see that were four, and I was relieved. <laughs> and then now I'm hearing a, a source of a screaming behind me, so I'm going to run back. <laughs> Hopefully. By the time you get there, assistance. he'll be gone. I won't move too close. Kind of hide behind the little goblin body. <laughs> <laughs> It'll then be Zing. Well, um, you could I'll fly and kick it from there. A little bit, and then I will. I'll take out the sling. You can, yeah, you can fling a slingstone. I'll let you have a sling. A fly. Um, I can, I can shoot it. Yeah, well, that was the that was how the guard got into this in pro pro problem in the first place. Having yeah. a fling, a fling, fling, fling. Stick that stone in. Just Everybody, don't... you can do it. You can do it. If you roll a one, you hit the guard. You hit the merc. And deal That's one good. damage. Armor class six. Oh, the stone armor, the, the stone strikes its blubbery hide and bounces off. It seems unperturbed. Lenza. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, far away. Cool. Do I have any disadvantage on the fact that I'm trying to shoot past the thing, or is it big enough that I can just... It's a big, fat worm. Yep, cool. Most, right. most of the swordsman is inside the big, fat worm at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a point of damage. Oh. You trip over that goblin body next to you. Uh, apparently, apparently the big, fat worm's not quite fat enough. <laughs> yep. Ouch. Combat situation. Even the most hardened assassin can sometimes get the shakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jaquan. More squealing, this time from outside. Harry's pointing and saying, boss, boss. Yep. Headed back out. It's that Jimbo. And it will then be... Uh, I miss Shira. Shira's turn. I'll be right back. Yep. Oh.
Is that Shiru? I'm just going to move to here mm -hmm. and pull out a sling. Okay, and then it'll be Hypatia. Okay, so this is difficult to try and attack it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll move 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. All right, someone want to make and this? And I will... I'll, I'll make the strength check for um, the so I don't know his strength, so no. He has a strength no. of 14, according to his character sheet. Oh, that'll definitely not do it. Nope. Yeah. All right. Therefore, if grabbed, the worm automatically hits for 2d8 damage the next round, and the poison save is at minus 2. I think that's gonna, the, the save is going to be a bit of a moot point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's the damage itself. He suffers nine. <laughs> he's going. To oh, did he say to make it? poison? How much poison? Do we? Will he have a chance of bleeding out? No, because it gets pulled. Oh. He gets pulled back I... under the ground. <laughs> have a great day. What a sight to see. All right. If you wish to stay in combat, it will be Vash up. Um, I don't see anything to swing at anymore, so I'll just Sean stay and where I Sean am. Sean and close by, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> close I could finish saying all, yeah. <laughs> but, but I won't. It's not a good idea. But you don't even have to Why do that, Sean. Somebody's <laughs> lent about consequences. What is this voice in my head telling me to do these things? <laughs> it's the ape. They are, <laughs> they are fickle and capricious gods. Damn right. Oh, also, seriously, ape. no one enjoyed the Jaquando. Remember, <laughs> the eight love me. <laughs> they do. They, they hide their blessings as curses, but they save everyone around me. All right. So at this point, I am going to drop you back out of combat for the moment. Cool. Just until you let your guard down, and then you're going to get eaten by something. Yep. There's like all these dead corpses around. Why does it just eat one of those? Because they're, they're not alive. alive. Yeah. Walk with that rhythm. <laughs> Yep. Now everyone roll 1d6. You would have to microwave all those bodies. So you just get one that's already warm. <laughs> they microwave the, the hand in army of dead. Yeah. <laughs> Could we create a stalking goat out of one of the party and just put them around waiting for the rest of us to uh, come to their aid and rescue? I, I nominate Hypatia as the most survivable. Oh, Sally. No, no, just stay away from there. Everybody come over here. But well, we still have Harry the, Hel the Hearty Halberdier over there. I attack Sean. Yeah, <laughs> over here. Everybody get over behind the tents. It's like tremors. Yeah. <clears throat> Now it can come up right in the middle of us, and it's got a, a fine selection of food. Mm -hmm. That's fine. All right. Start putting the wood in the stairwell. Okay. Yep. And set up a bank with the tents. Probably only a couple of them. They're pretty big. How big is the stairwell? Like it's... So the stairwell isn't actually it's yeah. not a it's not a massive stairwell to start with. It kind of grows into a bigger one as you go down. It was kind of more like a, a single person um opening that you found. Okay, good. So we don't really need that much to bank it. Not heaps, no. Alright, cool. Well, yep, start rolling. Yeah wood in there, smash up some of these like stall doors and stuff, throw those down. No, they're, they're lying around and stuff like that. You can get some stuff from it, yeah. Yeah, good. 
All right. And uh, we'll use some torches from over here. So that might be a bit close. Eh. Does anybody have any torches? Uh, not on me. I think so. I've got a few of the leaves still. Good. Then we'll use a torch to start a fire. <laughs> Ready to bank it at their entrance. Once it's, you know, burning well, back up and bank it. Okay, I'll just put this down here. It was about there, I think. Ugh. Let me put that as freehand. And make it gray. That's the, uh, for God's sake. Make it grey. There we go. <laughs> you are not allowed torches, Dan. You can't be trusted. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Then I might just start a small fire over here. Um, and see if this burns. The carrion worm does not burn. It is too gooey. Too gooey. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it edible? Is... Hey, there's only one way to find out. You're probably even worse. <sighs> I mean, Shiro is covered in it still, probably. Or bits and pieces of it, because, you know, he was oh, in its God. mouth and was... when it's it was scraping getting... that off now with some tent. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, was, he was in its mouth whilst Hypatia and Jaquan were chopping the crap out of it. <laughs> it's probably, like, matted in his beard and his eyebrows and his hair. In all I'm really curious. I, I want to have a lick. Of, of, <laughs> of, of, of the worm or of Shiro? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> He's closer. Like, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll be a bit more hygienic. I'll scrape a bit off with some fingers and just like that. It's, it's not appetizing, but again, you've eaten worse. You could eat the worm. Yeah. Sean takes uh, a step back. That's not laughter. Sean takes a step back after seeing that. And it's just like, <laughs> what? You could probably cut some nice big steaks from it. Gross. Uh, I can cook for you all tonight. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I'm good. Yeah. I'm just going to start stacking up, like, the stall doors and stuff. Okay. Feel free well, to need stack so keep from a t-shirt during to draw, the night. Feel free to draw upon the map what you are doing. <laughs> big... Fire. Oh wait, actually I wonder if I can no. Oh, I can't look for images. Sad. Alright, I'll look for an image. Hang on a second. Herb. Fire. Fire exclamation mark. Fire exclamation mark. And then I return. Did I miss anything interesting? Does this work? Um. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, the town crawls disappeared. We're waiting for it to attack again. Yeah. I'll take a chunk of carrion worm before it's engulfed by flames. That's that's what you missed. Ash decided to lick Shiru, then changed the mind and scraped some of the goo off Shiru and licked it, and decided that the worm is edible. Probably. And has offered is to cook for all. Has offered to cook for all of you. It is a great insult to her culture to refuse. <laughs> Does it actually taste good, Ash? It's all right. It's, it's all right. It's better than other things I've tried. The question I mean, is, though, you're not really saying it. The question is, though, where did the flavor come from? The worm or Shiru? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I'll I'll try a slice. Once it's cooked up. Um, 
Yeah, and then I'm going to stack up the wood. So we'll just draw some wood, I guess, in a big pile over here. Doors. Cool. Well, that looks pretty good, actually. If the carrying worm turns out not like horrible by itself, then that means sure it tastes nice. Ah, uh, nice. You put a fire Tasty in there. And it's a smoldering fire, which is kind of what you want. Yeah, exactly. And basically just, yeah, you know, looking looking at, like, the edge of the door, if it ever seems like, you know, st uh, smoke isn't, like, pushing its way out, then obviously, you know, that's time to feed some more wood in. Sure. Not a problem. Yeah. The carrion worm has decided that it is going to spend a bit of time. This is the one that is still alive digesting its meal it's pretty hard when they're covered in metal um and it does not attack you again uh you are setting your fires you are banking them with the tents you are seeming to get a bit of relative success you do remember however the stairwell was fairly long and it did turn a little bit here and there, so it will take some time. Plus, the tunnels underneath are of a considerably large nature, and goblin tunnels generally are fairly well aerated due to the mass of fishes and cracks that they like to scurry through. But you are yep. setting it anyway and hoping for the best. It yep. will take time. Time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to camp here, so mm -hmm. it's going to be burning for a while. <laughs> so, did anyone end up going back to the camp? Because when you were deciding that, that's when you had the misadventures with the first carrying worm. Yep, I was taking some bodies back, I thought. Okay, so yes. you can yeah. still do that. Kruva, Vash, yep. and probably Harry, I think, are doing that. Okay, and they are going to be the Merc bodies. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let me shoot off to the side. and I'll the wagon just... to come back so we can put the heads on it. No, it was just the four max. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll put them on the GM layer. Done. Cool. Okay. And sure has been counting heads. I have. Cool. 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 All right. Uh, so can we camp here overnight? If you want. In the stables? If you want. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, uh, since we've got heaps of the day left, sure, we'll try to make a bellows. Something that he is well first in. Not making the bellows, but I mean, it's a tool that he uses all the time. Mm -hmm. Sure. So also that to make. Mm -hmm. It's a back. They right. push all the sides off. Mm -hmm. Cool. I will stand guard. Yeah, and that way we can uh, also fan the flames, which is uh, handy when yeah. needed. Cool. I'm not sure there much needs to be much fanning between um, you and Vash. You seem to be doing pretty well by the, without any mm -hmm. flame flame fanning. Or well, Vash is licking you and then... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we really need some rest, guys. Uh, I'm quite hurt. There's some bandaging of wounds and stuff like that. Uh. Do yep. you wish to maintain your party watch? Yes. Uh, what does our party watch look like? Oops, not that. Essentially, well, yeah, we don't like have I think the it's... One, or the heavy swordsman or jaw. So, Sean should probably not work by himself. Just saying, uh, Harry works, yeah, Harry, yeah. So, just move Harry down to be with Sean. That works. Yeah. All right. So you've you've edited it, have you? I'm doing that oh, now. Yeah. Cool. Oh, good. 
Um, nice. Awesome. All killy dokely, and you are going to stay inside. I think that, that was the plan, yeah. Yeah, stay inside. So stay both, 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 we mean, both it means we can keep an eye on the fire and not be too split apart fire. from each other. Yeah. Yep, yep cool. Alright. We might even, might even set up like some hammock beds made out of some of these tents. The tents were manky as, man. Yeah. <laughs> You don't. They're better than the ground. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know. They're made out of some of them. Are, some of them are made out of hide. Like that's hide. pretty good. Yeah. They hide. Give it a beating. Hang um, on. A bit of canvas, oh. kind of stitched together. They they look a bit crappy and not well maintained, but they're serviceable. And you have slept on worse. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna make a hammock for myself anyway. Fine. If you don't want one, that's okay. Oh, just the first time we searched for them, they said they were dirty and horrible. But... Yeah. I mean, they're fit for a goblin. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's better than nothing right, right now. Yeah. Well, I have a nice cloak, so I'll just... You were just sleeping that very well. Sleep in that. Well, I want to have it. And to keep me off the ground. And cold. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. The watches, Shu and Zheng, your watch passes without event. Lovely. Nice. Jaquan and Lenza, your watch passes mostly without event. You hear, though, somewhere below a clanging sound, not like metal on metal, but like more like metal on stone or stone on stone. It kind of reverberates slightly. There's a little bit of echoing that seems to come up through tiny little cracks and crevices all around you. Now, it's not bang, bang, bang. It's more like... Drums in the deep noise? Mm. Uh, not really a drum in the deep, but a noise in the deep. Um, there are small wisps of smoke that seem to be coming up through the ground that you're in as well, and it starts to have an effect on everybody's sleep. Um, okay. I mean, that means probably means the plan's working, question mark? Well, uh, you just noticed that... Well, I'd have to move out wait, wait, Shiro, he is a cleric, so I'm loath to wake him with that good you, reason. You, you're quite yeah, unless, so you just noticed that... Coming up through this ground. Yeah, there's, there's cracks that you just did were otherwise unseen small little cracks and crevices and little fissures in the ground obfuscated mostly by the debris but there is now it's slowly seeping up through the ground and Juquan and Lenz are now notice on their watch that people are starting to cough slightly in their sleep well can we lay some tents across them to bank them they're everywhere throughout here I know but can we we've got a lot of tents can we like tent this area yeah. Like across the floor, you can. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying that is, it's coming up. It's coming issue. up throughout the whole of this in the stables, and because you are in a walled area, it's still coming up. You can't cover the whole of the stable. Um, and since the fire is going down in this point, the closest place for it to come back up uh, is here. Is too. here. So this is the like the path of least resistance. It doesn't seem to be massively inconvenient, but People are starting to. We will, I, I guess, we will. We will try and cover the like the the one the largest ones that there are, and do our best to mm -hmm. like to at least, at, at, least with at, at, yeah, at, at least get the ones that um that are close to people sleeping. Yep, and I guess warn people when they um when when they wake up, you know, for the next watch that to keep an eye on it. Open it shouldn't be too bad. Hypatia and Bash, your watch. Other than the smoke being a little bit of an inconvenience, it's starting to sting your eyes a little bit um, just because it seems to be just sitting around. Um, not very thick, but enough that prolonged exposure for hours is starting to provide a little bit of irritation. Your watch goes without event. Sean and Harry the hearty halberdier, likewise. In the morning, everybody apart from Zheng can heal. However, 
your night was a little bit less restful than otherwise would be due to the smoke, you'd get one hit point less from your rest. So it's 10% round up of your maximum hit points, minus one. Mm, Jean gets nothing. Yeah. Sucks to be Jean. I don't know. He's on reasonable HP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For him. So, For him, yeah. Okay. Let's move outside then, if it's like that smoky. Mm-hmm. But no. shall we continue feeding the fire for the day? It's just that there's no airflow really inside the stables, and over a good period of hours, it has slowly seeped up. You're going to get smoke blowback even when you're banking it a little bit. Yep. Um, so staying in here for that period of time, especially if you're sleeping, means that you know you are just going to be slightly affected by it. It does. It does kind of seep from the ground. And it, and it does I get really, trapped. I really um, should take Animate Dead and then I'd just stay here for a couple of days and make, make me Well, why don't you take dead. Animate Dead today and do that? Mm. Get a bunch of zombies. You, you can't, though, because I took all their heads and I think you need a whole corpse. Do you? Yes. That would make sense. Unless you can make like a corpse abomination out of multiple corpses together that's just made out of <laughs> arms and legs and it'd be awesome. <laughs> Is that an option? Can we stitch them together and make a corpse fiend thing? <laughs> no. Not with animated. Dead. Disappoint. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> it's quite it's quite funny that Animate Dead actually specifies about whether or not what happens to a character that's animated in this manner. Um, but really? if, if you want to take Animate Dead, we won't lop all the heads off, Sean. You just need to tell us. Just know as well that um, Animated Dead are, or and the process of animating dead is not particularly a good process. To bring evil things into the world. No, I know. I mean, the gods probably won't care, but my well, fellow colleagues die, might get upset. Just with uncontrolled things. undead, don't they? Was that sorry? If you die, they become uncontrolled undead, or do they deanimate? I Good think question. it's more along the lines of my colleagues won't be very impressed with me going around and animating undead, animating dead. Sean belongs to the religions of nobility, specifically the Order of the Heart. <laughs> mm. Here is my heart, and here is theirs. Kill them. <laughs> See my heart for the black coal that it is. Look. Um, I might do some healing then, since people look hurt. I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> Did Sean take any healing spells this morning? <sighs> Why would I take healing spells? It's a good question. Oh, nice. I wish I had create arrow. That'd be good. If someone had the Fletcher skill, then, you know. <laughs> if, someone had the Fletcher, if someone had the Fletcher skill, I'd let you make quite a few arrows overnight, especially given the fact that there's quarrels galore and shattered arrow remnants all over the place. Yes. Oh well. Who needs healing anyway? Aren't me. You can have a look at everybody. Heal you for another two, Lenza. You should be able to see, like, see everybody's health bar, and so which would give you an indication as to the percentage that they are injured. Can you see everybody's health bar? Yeah, I can. What I'll do to make things easier is if I go. No, I can see it. No, I was going to. I was going to move the goblins out of the way. Oh, yeah. So who are you healing, Shiro? Uh, I just healed Lenza for two. Is, is Oz around? I guess not. Um, did Shiro eat any of the 
carrion worm, by the way, with um, Vash. Yes. <laughs> yes, You're I did. Extra healing. It, I mean, I'm going to eat a bit. If it's edible, I'll eat some more. <laughs> if it's like, this is disgusting, he stops. Yeah, so, you, 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 think, you, you think Vash... Has not like. has not got good taste in food or <laughs> morals. <laughs> Perhaps morals. Both. It's free meat. Free meat. Mm. I think it's the meat that they're debating. That they're debating not the cost <laughs> of it. I think this is the wrong bit of the the animal it needs. Something else. Flash is fine. You think it's great. So, yeah, you know, you've eaten worse. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I am getting worried, though, because Flash licked Shiro, and now Shiro is eating what could potentially not be called food. And the only reason you do that, the only reason you do that is if you were trying to impress them. Come on. I've already got this shopkeeper. Okay. That's the only person Shiro is trying to impress. It's nine and a half weeks belly style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, all I'm right. pretty happy you you gave it a go though. Unlike these other uh, uh, scaredy cats. Shiro is going to heal. Oh no, no, I'm not because you heal Shane. Nice peer pressure. Mm-hmm. That will heal Shane to full. Yes, thank you very much. Is Oz back yet? That's still a no, it seems. Mm. All right. So the wisps of smoke seem to be coming out all throughout the stable. There are a few others that seem to be coming up through the ground. Um, But you don't think that you're... You don't think that you are have enough fire here to do what you're hoping, given the fact that the hole is deep and Mm -hmm. substantial. It might be an inconvenience or an irritation to them, but it's not big enough and um, aggressive enough with its smoke to flush them out or drive them really deep. Dang. I was hoping it'd just annoy them enough that they'd leave that level and maybe we could just walk down into an empty level. It is possible you haven't gone down there yet to find out. Yeah. So, well, I was going to do it for this day as well. Mm -hmm. I was just going to keep smoking them for a day and a night and then go down the next day, if that's okay with everybody. You might need to to collect a bit more wood. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. If there's not enough in the stables. There is plenty of wood in here. Um, well, you can find bits and pieces. A lot of it, you might, you're might starting to think that the stuff that's still maintaining some integrity is probably keeping the stables together. It is oh, no, I don't want to do structural. Stuff. The stuff it's on the loose. ground is kind of loose and mixed with kind of crap and stuff like that. And whilst it smoulders, it's more likely to start putting the fire out than to take because it's been in here for so long kind of got mildew and fungus and a um, bit of dampness to it so yeah there is still you still get some good pieces but to to feed the fire for another full day yeah especially considering what you are hoping to achieve you think that you might need to look elsewhere do I remember there being wood in amongst this building there was, but remember, there were there was some, not much. That was mostly a wood, uh, uh, sorry, a stone building, and the yeah. ceiling or the, the upper floors had collapsed. The same yeah. with the towers; they are mostly stone. But there are a few bits and pieces of wood around. Um, yeah, you just do think in the collapse bits, maybe. You do have the great big doors down here, though. Yeah, and also the goblins. Um, they must have wood somewhere. For their fires is there like stacks of wood for those around there was a few little bits not much um those fires probably had gone mostly gone out or they weren't big I roaring fires they have stuff stacked somewhere yeah there was, or... we'll say you get a little bit from the that were nearby or inside the tents but 
again, not heaps. But the good thing is, I guess you got the door down here. There's the fallen yeah. door, there's, and there's the other door yeah. which is standing. We'll use the fallen one. Let's not use that uh, that other one. Okay. We we'll go all the way around That's the fine. outside. We'll say you can take out. We'll say that you can <laughs> grab enough. Um, but everyone can roll a d20 for me, please. Who is going to get the door? Sure. Yeah. Hey, twinsies. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, mm. so maybe yeah, that I We'll find out. It's Oz back. What happened to Oz? He went for a drink the other night. Um, was it last night or the night before? Um, when we were yeah. playing for PT. He was, going, he was just to get a drink. He was going for like 15 minutes. I think he was... I going, mean... I think he was he growing said, the fruit juice. Was... Tea ritual? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think he was just like harvesting. He's got to go out for the bottle. Harvesting. <laughs> he doesn't drink. Which is why I was joking about it. <laughs> yeah, so he must have been harvesting the fruit to squeeze the juice from. Anyway, that's fine. No one rolled the 15 that I rolled on my secret dice roll to trigger an unfortunate event. Though there were Maybe a couple that were close. Mission. Mm. Sorry, I'm back. I had to rush off. That's all right. You got healed for two. I got healed for two? Oh, thank you. Who was that? Uh, why am I asking? Sure. I don't know what show. <laughs> hey. Sean cast some. Uh, Sean, well, Sean cast one. He cast oh, two. Is well. your self done um, surgery okay? My I watch. was going to cast You another. were gone for a while. Oh, right. No, no. It was just um, family. All right. good. Uh, good. Family tech support. Real life stuff, you know, disgusting. Mm. There you go. Sean oh, heals you for you. another three. Okay, so the I, group I are, the group have decided to head down to this door down the bottom, the big fallen door to retrieve it, or parts of it to help fuel the fire to try and force the goblins to be upset. Are you heading down there with them at the moment, everybody, including? Zheng, the abdominally challenged, is going. Yeah, I guess the stay to stay together is probably a good idea. Okay, roll d d20 for me, please. Don't roll a 15. Uh, sure. Nice. Would have been hilarious if you had a roll 15, though. <laughs> <laughs> Would it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would it? And one roll for Keradwin. <laughs> so, um... I'll see that 15. All right, I'll roll for Keradwin. Hang on a second. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, I think she's not here. Yes, I just did a slash roll 15. No, no dice were actually <laughs> rolled. <laughs> just 15. Um, that said, Shiru and Jaquan, as you are moving along, you feel under your, underneath your feet a bit of a vibration. You think you hear something nearby um but nothing jump on top of the door <laughs> but nothing leaps out of the ground or bursts forth from the ground to consume you oh and you can right. retrieve wood well did did we mention we we're working walking without rhythm that's probably why none of you know the 15 because 15 is a very rhythmical number mm -hmm. right. uh yeah, I'm gonna heal myself again. Woo. It just made sense. Okay, you can retrieve wood. So Shiru's plan was to keep the fire going again for the rest of the day. So you need to all cross off a day's worth of food except for Vash. And me. Mm-hmm. I'll read uh blue again. That Karen worm is a uh, filling. You are starting to run low on water, however. Mm -hmm. How many how many water skins do each of you carry? Two, usually. 
What about the rest of you? Oh. I'm not carrying any. So you were just <laughs> I think we'll have to go back. Like ten, no like idea. And create water if we need water. So you create water, you just hold your head back, tilt your head back, open your mouth to create water <laughs> above you for a, a holy lay, lay back. Yeah, I only have flasks of oil. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Time for a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's fine. You get the wood, you go back, you keep the fire going. Was anyone else intending to do anything for the rest of this day? Um, I might go for... I'll go back for... Uh, I'll trudge back to the, uh, the campsite and and back to the wagon and tell, the, uh, tell Theta and the other guy we're going to be here for a bit longer and... and get some water skins. Get some water skins and get some, you know, creature comforts. For the pro uh, uh. All right, someone needs to cross a day's worth of food off for Harry as well. Oh, and that's. Harry I works? mean, he is Zheng's mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> Need some cabbage. I can't. I've only got two rations. <laughs> I've only got one ration left over. There's sure. rations on the cart. We'll take some off the cart. When yep. get some get some rations as you go out there, Hypatia. Take some okay. off the cart. Cool. All right. So your your head cart. Did you put carrying nine rations? You put carrying worm heads on there. Your head cart is overflowing now with bounty. You can put no more heads upon the cart. <laughs> <laughs> we should just go back to town. I think we're done here. <laughs> We haven't done anything, though. I could just keep oh. animating more and more corpses, and then the head is... We don't need a cart for the heads, do we? Because they'll walk their uh, way into the town for us. Genius. Exactly. You're a genius, Sean. <laughs> Disco <laughs> as... Nothing, Disco. Nothing bad can yeah. come from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They totally won't think that we're invading on with an undead army. They're, they're sitting there worrying about the undead army, and then they just rock up and go, so uh, I've got some heads here. Can I get some gold for them? You can <laughs> Looking at uh, looking at Linda, how Grail. Yeah. Linda look to they call that elephant toothpaste, don't they? Uh, I have no idea. I think they. It's just... God. Yeah. I don't know why they call it elephant toothpaste, but I'm pretty certain that's what they call it. So foamy. Mm. All right. Are you heading back to town? Job done. Dusting your hands as you walk along the road. We've got to do the thing for Zhang. Do the thing. Yeah. Sure. Orkily dokily. So, you get some more rations, some water skins. The um, the mercs are going to charge you for some water. Wow, rude, but okay. Are we not close to the river, or...? Does anyone cast Create Dead? You are not right on the river. You can go for a wander down if you would like to. I mean, be far, I seem to recall. You can see you're here going down to the river. We'll take, there you go. what are we, four miles? Take maybe an hour or I'm so doing... to wander I mean, down the uh, back. I'm not, I'm not doing anything else today. Not. You go Not it. if we send ropey thighs, I'm pretty sure she can do it much quicker. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I'm sure two of us. I'm sure two of us. Two of us could probably get down there, refill the refill the water skins and stuff for the party, and bring them back. All right, against it. So, who's going with you, Lenza? Uh, who wants to go with me? Take this. Who, who, who wants to? Who wants to spend some quality time with Lenza? Take the spearman with you. It's... I don't. And but someone I else will. Do you want the spearman? Do you want the spearman back with you? The spearman will have probably fully healed by now. Yeah, or, or close enough. To Send him, him with. Uh, Send him with Lenza. You want him back? Nah, with the group, I'll, I'll go to look after Lenza. Well, Thank that you. that way, there's three of you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, so you're saying the spearman and I talk and ignore Lenza the whole way? <laughs> No, 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 what you're saying, what you're sort of saying is the spearman and you talk and Lenza ignores you the, for the whole way. <laughs> hey, hey, if that helps you sleep at night, we can pretend that's the way it was. 
Um, and then, yeah, guys, just during the, um, during, like, the third watch, really, like, pump the bellows. We won't feed the fire anymore and just, like, burn it out. Um, and then hopefully that'll, you know, the smoke will sort of clear up by the time we need to go in the next day. Okay, so Ooh. Lenza and who else was going to the Weaver? Weaver and the Spearman. All right, so can one of you, it doesn't matter who, roll a d6 for me, please. Sure. Two. Okay, that's fine. You are not accosted by Yay. something. You are down and back. Right. I'm accosted by conversation is what I'm accosted by. <laughs> You're really not. <laughs> <laughs> do, does Lenza look when she gets back? I'm literally at half health, or just about a little bit above half health. I will use a heal on you. Um, as we start walking down, I ask the spearman oh, to nice. toss a roughly fist-sized rock is that at seven a target. Yeah, that is seven. Yeah, cool. Could you pass my class? Awesome. Thank you very when, much. When he gets it close to the target, I start telling him the story of how Lenza missed with the munition. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good. Um, can I go out and scavenge for food? You've got a, you still got a carrion worm here. Well, <laughs> does anyone else want? Oh yeah, that's right. I could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could also I could also do that. Yeah, I, I that might one, find that, that one. That one take up the entire day, right? Could I? Could I spend some time hunting stuff for food? You could. The hunting around here is not particularly great, but you can go and spend yeah. some time doing so if you would choose to do it in the afternoon. If you, if you want to go do that, Vash. Yeah, mm -hmm. might as well. well the carrion worm's not going anywhere, but yeah, uh, exactly. maybe there's something better up there. Cool. Dog? Dog's pretty edible. Is it? <laughs> but, hmm. I mean, people eat dog. I mean, people Maybe eat nice Little stuff. Caesar's pizza. <laughs> people eat McDonald's. It's hot. <laughs> and it's ready. It's hot. And it's ready. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How long I does mean, a Karen worm uh, meat keep for? We have not tried to keep it for any period of time except for the last day. So, you know. And you're a half-orc. You'll eat things that other people would probably suffer severe bouts of food poisoning from and potentially die. You have a cast-iron stomach. You are a survivor. And you have the blood of the degenerates flowing through your veins. You can do... Yay! You can do great things that will probably make your party members vomit. <laughs> Apart from the people hunting, do the rest of us want to like actually look over these corpses and see if they had anything of value on them? Sure. Yeah, we'll move as a team. <laughs> yep. Okay, everybody can roll a d6 for me, please. Including Have the people hunting these or the ones that are, oh, that's the ones that are here. Oh god. <laughs> Bloody hell. I think you'll be surprised. Maybe. Hopefully it's full. So Vash doesn't get to roll the d6 because she's going out scavenging. Yeah. Mm. It's mm -hmm. only the people who are searching bodies and the like. Uh. I thought we'd put all the bodies in the fire, but at any rate, not yet. No, we never did that because I didn't want to go out there and gather them up to throw them into the fire. And I don't think they bodies would burn as well as you seem to think they do. But Are you around? I'm pretty good. I've been on fire a couple of times in my life. Bodies burn pretty yeah. good. I I can I can corroborate this. Yeah. There's seventy percent water. And thirty right. percent so, yeah, they've got they got a reasonable amount of oil in them though, so you know. Should we roll for den or No um it's okay. Um he's not searching clearly. So yep. da, 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 no one rolled a six. Cool. All good. No one, find gets, nothing. no one gets eaten. No one finds anything of note. You find various bits and pieces of weaponry, etc. But nothing fancy. So a few 
long knives, a few crossbows, some quarrels, bits and pieces of armor, some throwing axes, some um, scimitars. They are not particularly well maintained, but they all look to be of vicious make. Um, they have grips that are made for long, spindly, but small hands, so none of you would really be adept at using them. If it's good iron, though, we should collect it, mm -hmm. wrap it up, oil it, put it in one of the tents and wrap it up. We have some more Hold goblin scrap. Yeah. Well, we can't fit it on the cart, but I figure we'll bury it somewhere in the... We're not coming back for goblin axes. <laughs> hey, metal's metal, man. How are you? But uh, I was more looking for coin or interesting things if they had it. But if that that's all they've got, then that's yeah, all they've got. I mean, the goblins do use money among themselves in their societies. You know that much. But this is clearly not a society per se. This is more like a an outpost or uh, yeah. I was just hoping for a shiny bauble or anything. But if they pour, they're poor. Yeah, that's fine. It's more likely that if they have any any anything of value, it's probably beneath the ground mm -hmm. all right the next day the next night keeping the fire going keeping the same watches yep, yep. yeah but let it go out in the third watch blow it out as in make it burn hot Heal it. that's the plan Hey. Okay, so like the night before, Shiro and Zheng, your watch is mostly okay. There's a few little bits and pieces that you hear in the night, etc., but nothing too crazy. Um, Lovely. Noises that you would probably expect to hear around about, but otherwise, yeah, this, this, the fire is still a little bit disconcerting, but nothing and the smoke but nothing too major is your Quan and Lenza on your watch and it's good that den is back about an hour into your watch you've settled in the smoke is again a little bit irritating you notice that people start to cough a little bit um, again I mean you've taken a bit of extra precautions but once more the, the smoke is filtering through a sudden flare and flash of blue. Oh, good. Like out where? <laughs> right where that freaking circle is. Suddenly oh, illuminates yeah, once more uh, in the, the courtyard. Circle. I start kicking people. Do we? Do we want to wait until stuff comes out of it, or? Hell no. So how long into the watch is this? About an hour. I start waking everyone. Cool. All right. Okay. Everybody is awake. Uh, uh, nothing has come out. The fire is flickering, pulsing. The flames are reaching maybe about seven to eight feet in the air, which is a little bit higher than what you've seen them previously do. Um, it seems to be quite vigorous. Uh, it's almost like the, the flames are blowing in an otherwise unfelt and unseen uh, imaginary or illusory wind. Hmm. I think we annoyed Man. someone. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I miss Minerva. <laughs> this magical stuff would be easier if we had a right a half miss Minerva. Wait, no, I third miss Minerva. <laughs> it would be easier. <sighs> Doubt. Press X. I... That... <laughs> That's why <laughs> I walked it back. Ah. <sighs> All right, so we're all awake, are we? I mm -hmm. guess we're inside the actual thing then. Just move myself. Over there. Yeah. All 
Um, as we start I'll... waking people, I look over to Lenz and say, I mean, admit it, you're enjoying this at least a bit, right? <laughs> Uh, do we? I don't know whether anyone prepared to like dispel magic like in the previous day. Do we want to try and get it while it's new? Question mark. Yeah, I can cast a spell magic on it if you want me to. I mean, last time it just made monsters. It <laughs> revealed them. They were all invisible. <laughs> Give it a go. Why not? All right, then. Well, well, well I'll start uh, gear on first, though. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gearing up. That's... Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm getting getting get everyone got off. their armor on. Yeah, uh, give me half an hour. It doesn't take that. <laughs> okay. We can help you. We can, we can help you. A yeah. good fifteen minutes. I I pass her two plates. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, this is good if I'm having a meal for two. Where, where's my armor? I mean. Here are some breastplates for you. What are you trying to say? Okay. Yes, we suit up. Okay, that's fine. The fire is burning. Well, it's there. It looks like it's burning. It's flickering. It's high. It's flapping around. Um, it's illuminating everything. Um, but nothing has stepped forth from it. Were you going to be casting Dispel Magic? You mentioned um, you were thinking of it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we Is might as well try in its early stage if we can if we can like stuff it out before it I guess settles, question mark. Does everyone want to move up with me so that I'm not yes. standing out here by myself? Yes. Um, yeah, no, we, we all move together. By the way, Al. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to give you a bonus XP for that last line on your character bio. Oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, wait. Let me move stuff around my uh, couch before. recently. Was that sorry, uh, I'm pretty sure I added something at some point, but it was yeah. really additional. And I'm still not being smote, so the net loss to Al is 5 XP. Looks like it. <laughs> it's still good, so he's still getting bonus XP. Mm. Cool. All mm -hmm. right. At this point, as you are there, are you casting your spell or not? I missed it, sorry. Um... Well, yes, but I had to move to get to that location to cast it. That's, nothing is happening, so you have time to cast it. I mean, you've got people putting on full plate. That takes roughly four to five minutes, at least, with assistance. Yep. And that is yeah. and that is putting it on speedily. Not to mention all the other people putting on medium armor, etc. So you've got time. Well, Sean's doing the same thing. Sean has to put his armor on as well. Yeah, your armor takes butter top, butter pittance of time compared to theirs. All right, I'm not you... casting. I'm not casting to spell magic until everyone is ready. Okay, that's fine. You got time. because last time I did it, a hundred monsters turned up. So yeah, I'm waiting till we're all. You have time. Yep. Are you casting cool. to spell magic? This is what I've been trying to say. I am. There is no. There is no immediate push. All right, you cast to spell magic. Okay. <clears throat> Where are you centering the twenty foot cube? Um right in the center again? Yes. Cool. Right there. When cast spells effects within a twenty foot cube can be negated. While spells cast by any spell casting class are automatically negated if the caster is of equal or lower level to the caster of dispel magic. For each level of an opponent above the caster, there is a cumulative five percent chance dispel magic does not function. For example, so blah 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 blah. blah. That's all right. A single figure appears after maybe about ten seconds after you cast a spell. The, the fire remains. Hmm. She looks to be interesting. She looks to be. Um, cowled, robed, bent over, clutching onto some kind of gnarled-looking staff. 
She looks around. Is it the crone? The crone is a god. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not of an equal I mean level with the crone. <laughs> I mean her avatar. Still don't think I'd be on the same level as... Isn't that Minerva's? Actually, sorry, it's not cow, sorry. Um, appears to be wearing a dress which looks to be maybe kind of a bit fine in nature, but haggard and may have been fine once. She stands maybe about six feet tall, maybe a bit maybe a bit tall if she stood to her full height. She is kind of hunched over a lot. Um, <clears throat> in the flickering fire, can we tell if she's a goblin? Nope. Not at all. She looks around a bit and spies you, and you hear a cackling laugh. <laughs> oh, that was a good start. Oh. No. It's, um, <laughs> could be interesting. Well, that's all heard the story. I... Rishi. Story? It was a long time ago, session 17. Not all, not all of them did. Oh, that's true. Oh, God. I, I may have forgotten that one. Yeah, that's fine. And she walks through the flames, kind of looking around. <laughs> Starts moving towards you. Kind of. Are using... we supposed to be able to see her? Or... I'm not putting a token on the map unless you wish to okay. attack her. Do you wish to attack this lone woman who is walking towards you, hobbling, as it were? Probably not. Absolutely. You are? <laughs> Of course, oh, lady. Okay. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm all for the whole. Oh, yeah, the poor old lady. This person literally came out of the. I may mean, guess Carrot and came out of the. But I would have, I would have shot Carrot anyway. Make an attack roll. <laughs> cool. Go for it. I. As she starts to raise, uh, her bow, can I interpose my arm and call out to the figure instead? If you're buying, let's go for a drink. <laughs> I will hesitate if someone does make a move to stop me. But I am I'm I guess I'll ready I'll just ready it then. Fine, if you want a figure, let me put a figure on the map for you. Let me find a figure that will suit I don't have a token for her. That's right. <clears throat> no, don't don't worry about it. That's no, alright, it's okay. Probably oh, won't shoot her. It's all probably good. Oh, this one looks perfect. Perfect I say. I'm trying to get a date here. Bella's a lovely lady. Aww, cute. Man, she's teleporting all around the place. <laughs> That's powerful magic she's using. She can probably do that. She's hobbling. She using, prepares heels. Using the staff, it's, as I said, like, like, a, like a staff, like a walking aid. And she's, But she seems to be moving with quite a deal of alacrity. Are oh. you shooting her, Lenza? As she moves, if, if Kruber has, has has stopped me, then I I will not shoot. I will I will hold until. What what does she out. respond to? Uh, what I called out. She's just laughing, kind of muttering to herself, laughing under her breath. You can hear it quite easily. It sounds very disconcerting. She okay. goes, oh, my lady, what brings you to these ruins? She gets I, she gets I a bit there and stops. Arm. Yeah, she gets a bit there and she stops, and you can quite clearly see that she is indeed of hideous visage. Um, so some of you may or may not have remembered the um, the background of hags. She is clearly what you would assume to be a hag. Does anyone remember who may have read what hags are? Uh, I don't remember. Swamps. Was it, sorry? Swamps. I remember swamps. No. But... That could be a particular hag. No, they're not. They're not that. Hags oh, are the uh, hags are the offspring of ogres and female elves or humans. <laughs> Lovely. Yep. All all children born of that lineage become hags. Are all born female and are all hags. Can Very. I say something to Lenta. You can say go. Did you forget another Mother's Day present? 
think that would be ha, ha. Get your Mother's Day present. Hags are still <laughs> Hags can have no children. But yeah, exactly. Gets, the she... Lenza could have. Yes. It's, it's true, perhaps. Just how old is Lenza? Who, who knows? So the, so the hag gets to there. You need a backstory. I, I have, I, I am 122. The hag gets to there and stops. And she gazes upon you all. You can make a morale check for Harry and... Does the, does the spearman have a name? No, the spearman doesn't um, have a name. Sven will now Re- be his Remind name. me what the... Oh, no, 86. It's morale. It's like a leadership check. No, oh, that macro um, isn't working for them. All right, well, I wonder why. I'll make it. Oh, there. Yeah, I was going to give oh. that one before. That macro works better, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, they made it. They yeah. both made it. Mm-hmm. Why does the macro not work? The macro should work. Let me just check. Whilst we do this macro. Morale, morale, morale. Um, I'll, I'll look back at the It's in bar. Visible to players, all players. Can one of you try and make a macro check for them now, please? Um, a morale check for them? Uh, yes, I will try to. No, actually. Uh... You're a selected no token. No way. Yeah. Okay, it's working. Ooh. Good thing we didn't roll that. All right, so, what was that, sorry? Oh, I just had to click it a lot. Never mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's got, yeah, it queries. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so it's pronounced equery. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the hag gets to there, and Harry and Sven seem to be a little bit disconcerted, but they hold their ground, stoic as they are. And the hag will raise herself up to her full height, which is just so shy of seven feet. Whoa. And she will Bring gaze back on the table. And she will gaze down upon you all. Where is Minerva? She owes me. Uh, she's off rubbing her rod. God's sake. Well, Minerva was at the party quite a while ago. We do she, not know where she is. She hasn't left. She'll be back. Very well, to know where she is. She's in Summerton. Mm. <sighs> she was last seen at Summerton with her lover, the one she cares about more than any <laughs> other in this world. <laughs> Will abroad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, Willowbird seems like a nice guy, says Shiro. Meanwhile, <laughs> ever looking at her little black book. <sighs> she will she'll step a little bit to the side and gaze intently upon Jaquan. A wicked smile plays across her face. Warts kind of half scaly skin looks very dry. She clearly needs a good moisturize. Um <laughs> She holds up a very clawed-looking hand with long black nails and points it in your direction. I like you. I will have you one day. <laughs> but not I'll see if there's day. enough beer. <laughs> uh, not like that. I have other <laughs> needs for you, my friend. Where is... She starts looking around. Ah... Uh, She's not here either. Hmm. Eredin. Ah, you know of her. I had thought she would be here. Tell me, why are you still here in this ruinous keep? Uh, uh, secrets below. Mm-hmm. And the goblins kill. Them could maybe be found. You are treasure hunting. Uh, I, there are great yeah, treasures. Um, I know where to find them. Better than anything you will find in here. 
The goblins you know, have, the goblins have Be ransacked this place many times. The adventurers have come through and looted and ransacked it. There is nothing of value in these ruinous walls or beneath in the tunnels. Though, and she looks then at Shiru and Jaquan and points at both of you with her clawed, talonous looking hands. There is something that you two might find interesting below. Though I would no, not go looking for it. Was. I would not go looking for it unless you really, really like surprises. Tell good me. surprises or bad surprises? <laughs> there are never any good surprises. <clears throat> Tell oh. me. Somebody never had a birthday party. Tell me, Elf. Or too many. She then looks at. <laughs> she then looks at, Lenza. Hmm? Do you seek to remove bondage from your species, or happily watch them die? I can I help. honestly couldn't care less. <laughs> their faults are their own. And that is why I'm not going. I'm not going to waste my time. And that is why that. they will die, and you will be left with nothing. I know what is the blight upon them. I could help. I could help all of you. Yeah. Since no offense. You don't seem the trustworthy type. Minerva trusted me. Minerva trusts well, me greatly. And, and, Minerva, and Minerva's an idiot. No offense. <laughs> Look, she, it's she, not often I agree with Lenta. She licks her but lips. Lenta makes good points. She licks her lips and smiles and then hunches back over her staff. I have no reason to lie to you. All I would ask is a small favor. But What type of favor? We're talking no, Sure. Oh, Look, Aaron. I'm sorry. I, I have this frog taxidermy, and she knows oh, shit. Maybe she knows that. <laughs> Are you uh, getting at the, the frog taxidermy? XP? I swear to God. <laughs> Maybe she's not any of the it. gods. Aaron's totally deserving extra XP for that. Can I? Can I? Can I just whack her over the head with my bow? <laughs> sure, go for it. <laughs> You'll have to make an attack roll and move to do so. Roll, yeah, roll a one <laughs> as you stoop down and pull you back. Uh, she will move forward a little bit further again. Hey, stay back. She is crouched down again, about oh. only um, like six feet tall now, hunched over her staff. What is your favour? It depends but on you... what it is that you want. The favors could be anything. Well, uh... let's let, let's start with an easy question. Did you did you just happen to use that circle of fire thing as like somewhere to teleport into, or she did you? She turns around and looks at there? it. She turns around and looks at it. You do not know what that is. No, I certainly did not. I am. Definitely of not uh, of what uh, not of the uh, not versed in the, in the arcane arts, and mm -hmm. safely say that. I could tell you, but all knowledge comes with a price. There is a reason why I appeared there. Are you willing to pay the price, mighty warrior? <sighs> What is the price? Oh, it depends. It depends who is asking and what is it exactly that you ask. <laughs> I need a contract or I'm not signing. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I just learned the way of signatory. Uh, oh, my valiant half orc. You speak very strong words for one who is a pariah from both your parents. But. My word is my bond. That is the contract you would have. Do you know how to open mm. this? And Shiro shows her the frog taxidermy. 
while that's happening, I lean towards Bart and Soto whisper, do you actually know how to write? Like, we've just never talked about this. <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is two slashes opposed, like an X or a cross. That, that generally works. So you get out the frog taxidermy and the hag's eyes you know, seem to glitter as she looks upon it. Ah, it has been some years since I... Well, I haven't actually seen it, but I know of it. I know of it. So, you wish knowledge of that little bauble in your hands? Yes, how to open it. <laughs> Give me a memory. Give you a memory. Ah, oh, yes. Mm. A juicy, delicious memory. Do I get to choose the memory? Of course. If it, right. is, if it is acceptable, and I get to choose if it is, then I will Do tell you, you what you know. a memory or a bad memory? A memory is a memory. Tell me. Give it to me. Oh, excellent. I will give her the most visceral memory that I have, which is being swallowed by a carrion worm just the other day. It was terrifying, and I almost died. <laughs> and uh, now I would like to leave. Oh, no. That's not the memory no. that I want. Something that you give so that I have it. Not you. Uh, you want one that I want. Hmm. I will take it in exchange for the knowledge that you seek. Hmm. Do any of you I have, have anything memory. else that you would like? While I am here, since my since my task is not going to be complete. Do you know about the symbol underneath? Or the seal? Whatever it is. Perhaps, perhaps. Do you wish to ask? Perhaps is not a yes or no. That is not you asking. Because... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask. <laughs> I don't care much, but I, maybe Zhang is interested. The monk, the knowledge monk, very quiet in the back. Injured. But it's not your tongue that is injured. Do you have knowledge while I am here? Using there? Apparently not. Okay. Is he asleep? I don't think so. Okay. I don't, so, I don't know, but I'm getting there. So, little gnome. Can you stone? I will stone? give up my... Ooh, I could give him the give her the memory of kissing the shopkeeper, which is pretty good. Or I could give her the memory of the first time I set forth on my journey to find out about the death of my parents. That one. That one? I will take that mm. from you, and you will never have it again. And I will tell you what you need what? to know. Are you open to trade again? Perhaps. I could never get this back from you? Oh, well, perhaps. Okay. Perhaps. There is always, always room for dealings. If that is what you want, then I will tell you about the bob you hold in your hand. Yes, please. And Hello. you will no longer remember that memory. It's gone, taken from you. That is the trapped halfling, Urquette de la Toad, trapped by a fiendish wizard many many years ago if you wish to break it open break it open free the halfling perhaps he will be welcoming 
Perhaps he will be generous. Perhaps he will be very, very forthcoming. Or perhaps he will run and hide. Or maybe, since he has been in there so long, he will die. Who knows? Tell me about this halfling. Was he a hero? A villain? Did he? Was he a merchant? Ah, a thief? Look at De La Toad, the Marquis of the Dewfields. From the green, that continent, lush, oh. overcome with vast vestiges of flora, ah, tall trees, long grass, verdant. Yes, many, many years ago, he ran afoul of the spellcaster. Was he a hero? No. Was he a thief? He was a halfling, maybe. Who knows? I don't know his full tale. But he was trapped forever, encased in crystal, as those around him would die. His loved ones gone. And all the while he was aware, whilst he was encased in his prison. Mm. I've given you your knowledge, little one. And you have given me a memory, a juicy memory that I shall devour over time, unless we do deal in the future, perhaps. Anyone else wish knowledge while I am here before I go to find my prize and reclaim something from Minerva? As she does so, she Remember. gesticulates with her hand in a kind of a very weird looking way. It's like, mm, remember. Yep. I feel that Minerva has pay, uh, uh, paid for something, some very expensive knowledge. Oh, no. But that's speculation. No, that is between remember. myself and Minerva. And you? Minerva. Minerva? It's with Will abroad. Uh, he will know. And don't believe him if he tells you he doesn't. <laughs> very well. If there is no more knowledge that you ask for, no more understanding, and she points to you, Vash, of the seal below, or you, she points at Hypatia, warrior woman, of the way to cure your blight, then perhaps I will go back through that ring of blue fire that you wish to know information about, but are unwilling to pay the price. Blight, you say? You know, uh, you can you can cure the rollers. Oh, I cannot cure it, but I know of a way to cure it. That is that is perhaps worth a price. No, oh, the price for that is very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> I find strapping strong but fragile, warrior woman. It's a back rub. <laughs> oh, God. So uh, negotiate it down. Put rub only. <laughs> Dude, that's worse. Uh, they are calloused and smell. I don't know what is <laughs> The jam of the so toe. Much worse. The jam of the toe <laughs> is great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of, semi of course, it would be heavy price. And then. Uh, as is there anything? As is there anything? In, as is there anything of the divine that has been visited upon us? <sighs> the ancient I mean, glory. What about? Are they not? What if you can tell us about this this circle of flame? How how? What is the price on that? The price on that? You almost prize possession. Wow. She smiles again. Are you I willing to part with it? it? Well, clearly. Oh, I know what it is. I guess it's my sword. No, it's your ability to get loot. <laughs> <laughs> Fat loot. <laughs> Fat, fat 
So yo, you're back, Lucas. So Welcome back. The, the hag yeah. wanted to right. know. Sorry about that, guys. That's all right. No, no, all right. The you okay? Yeah, 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 just a bit tight. The hag wanted to know if you were interested in knowledge of the seal below since Vash brought it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that'd be good. Oh, the, yeah, the price is a mani petty on her, though. <laughs> So the, she, well, she demanded a memory from um, Shiru for some information about his frog taxidermy, and he offered up a, a memory which she now has taken from him and he doesn't have, and she's claimed that she will devour it over time unless he can come up with something else to take it back. So she's yeah. asking, at the moment, Hypatia for her most prized possession for information on the blue circle of flame. Mm -hmm. Or the circle of blue flame. That's odd. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, Zhang would like to uh, just know more about the the symbols on the ground and the levels below. I can tell you what they are, monk. Knowledge is your currency. So if She's you wish, you. if you want that. I will take knowledge from you. Mm -hmm. You know how to speak many languages, at least some more than others. I will take mm -hmm. one from you. I will strike it from your tongue with a kiss. A kiss? Yes. Mm. Will I be allowed to choose which language? I don't mind. <laughs> I'll take one. They're all delicious. Uh, very well then. Uh, I will offer up. Great tongue. No, not that, not that <laughs> one. That'd be that'd be so boring to eat. Like that's the, that's that's like every every literally every almost everybody knows it. She would also <laughs> enjoy the fact that he wouldn't be able to speak trade tongue anymore, that, which would be super annoying. That would be oh, where the viciousness yeah. would come from. Not the language, but the fact that it is gone. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what I was assuming. How about my high elven? Mm. Mm. Yes, that would be fine if you wish to. Lay one on me. <laughs> I will lay some high elven on you. Then. Do you remember what she looks like? Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, I just saw, I saw the little um, hey, the image. Every new I experience is a uh, new experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, literally, it, a it's a page experience. in your book. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything you can write knowledge. about this. How many other monks have kissed a hack? <laughs> you could write about it. <laughs> So she stands about seven feet tall. Like... She stands about seven mm -hmm. feet tall when she's at her full height. She stands about six mm -hmm. feet tall when she is hunched over, maybe a little bit less. Um, she has um, red eyes, or at least they're red rimmed. They're kind of darkish maroon. The, the the pupils and her teeth are needles, and she has a long, mm -hmm. forked black tongue. Goodness. Well, well, if it's for knowledge, I will accept my fate. And now we know Shang's fetish. So. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you can kiss her and you can now remove High Elf from your languages spoken as you feel it slowly drain from your living memory. The ability to speak it and understand the words, gone. Mm. You monk boys always kiss so well. The knowledge that you seek, the seal below, the bronze disc upon the ground, has sat in the ruins of Andrashell since well before they were ruins. It is a seal that traps an essence below. This is where the knight's vigilance fell. Their last greatest defeat. Where they were scattered. Their numbers 
obliterated. Very few survived. But they did manage to seal an evil well below. And ever since then, she points at you with her large clawed finger, ever since then, this place has been a beacon of unwholesome creatures. It is why they come here. They are drawn to the evil that is trapped, held within the symbols upon it. Old, great, great power, magic power, ancient, long forgotten. None can unlock its secrets. Many have tried. However, the power of the seal can be harnessed by those competent enough, well-versed enough in the dark arts, brave enough and stupid enough, because what is held within is a being of divine power. Oh. <laughs> Vastly. Vastly powerful. And it is why these ruins are just a pulsating and great beacon of darkness. Why they will never be cleared out as long as that remains trapped. I thank you for your gift. And that is the knowledge that I have given you. She leans back onto her staff. Hmm. This has been a most interesting time. I'm kind of happy that Minerva isn't here. I wouldn't have got such wonderful gifts so far. You, warrior woman, your blight upon your body, or the knowledge of the ring behind your most prized possession. The price may go up if you hesitate longer. I have had my fill almost. Well, do it if you want to, Al. Nope. I mean, come on. Surely you would want to. But, I mean, <sighs> you want to make wise choices? Mano uh, Hypatia has lived with this curse her whole life. That's why I reckon she would hate it. I don't know if I was always choking and gasping for air. It's... I'm going to regret this, but sure. I so greatly... I... I'd uh, I take, uh, take, this, uh, take the, uh, the sword and scabbard and hand it over. Tell me. What was this blight? She looks at she the sword. She never said it was the sword. Yeah, oh, she, she looks at sorry. the sword. Fuck. This, this isn't your most prized possession. But what is? But for yeah, this... In your back story, Al? But for this, I will accept some small payment. And for small payment, you will get small information. She How's will... My she will... Oh, Sorry. She will sling the sword over her shoulder. The blight or the ring? What was it that you wanted to know? As she oh, I have no fucking idea what my. Uh, uh, if, if that's not my most prized uh, position, I have no fucking idea what it is then. I really don't. That's fine. Uh, that's part of the point. Cool. Well, I just wasted everything. Fuck. Fuck. What, okay. While you pause, choose something. You know, while you're you fine. Let's talk about the blight. Fuck it. You know, out of game, it's not that big a loss because you have another plus one arming sword in the party that's not being used. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that it is, is true. So it is a minor inconvenience at most. The blight. Well, also the blight upon you. I know how, but I don't know if you have the stamina to do so. <laughs> there is a weed 
that grows in the midst of the slaughter scar. It is the only place I know that it grows. It is very rare and very hard to find. Ash root, small, no more than a few inches tall, black like soot. That is the path to you being reprieved of this malignant illness that has cursed you since you were born. That root, find it and take to an apothecary. There is a straw, there is a good one in Sumberton, Uthra. She might know how to prepare it. Whether it does fix your ailment is down to whether you survive the preparation. But it that sounds like an exciting mission into the slaughter scar. But it will be what you need. Very well. I have had my oh. fill for the evening. And much joy was had. Somebody you say, I will return through that circle which you do not know the nature of. And I will go get my prize. Until we meet again, for I'm sure we will. Well, hopefully I have some new memories that you'll be interested in. By she then. just disappears. That's fine. But you hear a cackling laughter fading away. Hypatia, if if you've got a burning ring, you could probably get that scene too back at Somberton. I believe um, I believe Vash has the other plus one arming sword, the one that yeah. Sean found with his um <laughs> with his super duper combo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I had another one that gave me um the same thing, but to find a potion. But I don't know what happened to that. You used it and it failed because yes, you had it before the um. Yeah. 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 You should did. have used it at the same time. Yeah. Oh well. well but right. then I wouldn't have had it because I would have oh. had too many cards. Ash, can I please have the plus one army sword? <laughs> no, no I'm it. giving to Hypatia. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a to gift know. from oh. me. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Thank what? you, Vash. Most, yeah, uh, most, uh, <laughs> it is most appreciated. I should add. Uh, Sean's the best. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, let's get back to rest. Yep. It's been an interesting day. I'm going to actually just hang my hammock right on the edge here so that I don't get smoke inhalation. Um, yeah, I guess while I'm waiting for the smoke to do its work, I'm going to see if there's any... Uh, the smoke is sort of more co where the seepage of the, of the smoke is going. Like, I, I suppose, um, looking for larger, uh, you know, bigger fissures, I guess. There are lots of little cracks and fissures all throughout. The ground here seems to be, upon really close inspection, shattered. The the ground is just completely run through with these tiny little cracks, which at first you just didn't see. But now you're having a close look. Every couple of feet, there is a wisp of smoke slowly peeling up. Um, it isn't very thick. It looks like it's probably running through a lot of stone, filtering it through. The, there's not much in the way of airflow throughout. But yeah, the whole ground is slowly hazing with this smoke that's coming from below. Mm. Maybe this happened to uh, maybe the maybe the uh, the reason why this crown is like this but is because of that big battle that Hag was talking about. I mean, you know, talk about big magic and, and, and Titanic force and stuff. That's could do this, I suppose. Guess. 
Anyway, shall we restart our watches since we got interrupted? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. Although I'm not sure whether we'll get a full sleep from some people. Well, well yeah. We, we could, could uh, unless there's it, unless there's lots of time. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're hostiles, we don't need to worry about the spellcaster. This is. Yep. So the rest of the only an hour into the watch. Yeah, the rest of the watches will pass without event. So Hypatia and Vash and Sean and Harry the Hearty Halberdier. You do have Sven back now as well, so he got a full night's rest apart from this little interlude. Because no one put him on the watch, so he was happy to sit back, have a little bit <laughs> of a drink, a bit of a mm-hmm. bit of a chow down and then a long and relaxing kip well as long as it could be and relaxing as it could be managed and so yeah. did the spell casters get a long enough rest or yep. not yes yep and we will leave it there for the night oh. back thank you <laughs> do you yeah. wish, can you um, vote for mvp for the week please Yes. Ugh, that means I have to open Messenger. Or you could just whisper it to me. WGS. Not gonna happen. <laughs> just massive get, inconvenience. Just get the macro and put a button on your desktop and then not on, on your screen, and then you can just select from a list of players. No, he does it this way deliberately. Um, yeah. yeah. Because he is the hag. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm pretty sure you've caught me worse. <laughs> Only in private. <laughs> I didn't say it was without good reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> uh, one for everyone? Pretty much. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> So we all I mean, get you know, you know, you know, you know it's a good session when that happens. Yep. Okay. No, there was a clear winner in the end. Okay. One, two, three, four. And there was a clear runner-up eventually as well. All right. Shiru gets MVP and Lenza got runner-up. Oh, lovely. But the first nice. four, but the first four votes that came in were all for four, four different people. Excellent. Uh, okay, so Lenza, do you want XP or a blessing? Uh, I'll take a blessing. Let's see if I can get a. Let's see if I get a more useful one than one of the ones I already have. All right. But um, you've already got eight. Cards. Yes. But he can then get to choose a discard. He has some that he doesn't like. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, so I've just dealt one to each of you two. That's... I, sh- I assume that means, like, minus. It depends which one you got. What color was it? Blue. Was it one line? Yes. Yes, so that is a minus. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, I figured. Yeah. I did, but I just wanted to double check because otherwise it, it seems bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Keeping those two. I'm keeping that one. Yeah. I think I will get rid of the mice cast a spell one because that is. Not that useful for me. I just drag it onto the tabletop. That one, please. All right. Go on. Cool. Ha. Huh. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, on another side. We, 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 we do, we're going well, guys. Me. Geez, you guys are optimists. But you guys got lots of information, and you guys have cleared out. Yeah. I was being sarcastic. It's like, we didn't die. So, well, we've managed to go, what, 
60 something episodes with only a handful of death. Well, not even a handful, like three or two. four. You've had two, two deaths, Mark. Not two one. deaths. There's been other That's other cool. other characters have been have been put out of action, but yeah, deaths are always worse. I mean, they, I mean, in saying that, how many mercenaries will we lose? Well, yeah, but <laughs> ace. No, only six. We can cross our horsemen off. Yep. Yeah. Really not. This is, this, is, this, is, this is really why Lens didn't want to fucking do it because like Lens and you, they just all come down with us and die because they're like they helped a lot though. In at certain points, they got some. They kills. really did, and they yeah. and some of them tanked a lot of attacks. Mm. Yeah. As Drew, as a player, understands that Lenza <laughs> despises the waste of life. I thought you said being careful yes, yeah. stuff. It does not. Oh, I, oh, I don't. <laughs> Cool. I'll but see you there, is, there, see there, there, is, there is there is a big difference between you causing you, between you causing you causing yourself harm and other and other other people causing other people harm. Absolutely, I understand. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. I hope you. It's uh, like... Is Aaron still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I hope you liked me flicking no the stellar in for you. Yeah. So. Minerva has items for Stella on her. I've been collecting them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I had one specifically made. I wanted to trade something off Sean. Dang it. I never got to. Oh well. Hmm? You've got a glass eye, don't you? No. Who's got, I've got eye? a eye? I've had a, a monocle. Uh, you have I, a glass eye. I have yeah. a cracked monocle. I never really wanted that off you. That's okay. Oh well. <laughs>